Hello YouTube, it is Black right here and I am bringing you a tutorial on Gary's Mod. This is going to be a WASD car tutorial with wire mod on Gary's Mod um, for those of you who don't know how. So first off you're going to need a few add-ons. Uh, precision, you're going to need precision and you're going to need wire mod obviously. Those oh and you're gonna probably you almost yeah you pretty much need smart snap even though it's not actually a tool it works for the grid and um yeah so um let me go in game real quick get in game I'll go on GM construct it doesn't really matter what map you build it on so um yeah you're gonna want to go download those uh, add-ons I'll actually put the links in the description of this video. Um, don't mind the WAC Community 5 is creating errors. Uh, you probably, you won't have that. Be, I, it's just one of those add-ons because I restarted my computer, so it just gave me errors, but I'm going to have to uninstall that in a little bit. So, um, alright, now that we're in game, what you first want to do is you want to spawn yourself a base of a car. You want a solid base. I'm just going to use this for the, for, like, for the video this um thing and if you don't know how to like snap it like s you know how you can like rotate it like that like just holding e and then rotate it if you hold actually shift and e it'll snap into um i think 45 degree angles so um yeah that's you want to use that almost all the time while you're building this so just so then nothing gets messed up and everything can be perfect all right so first we're gonna, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to actually spawn some wheels in I'm just gonna, for this purpose, I'm gonna use these wheels, but I'm not gonna use that big of wheels. Yeah, these are about good. I'm just gonna use four of these. Um, you can make different size wheels if you want. I mean, it, it really doesn't matter. Um, but, uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to, um, you know, make, make it with all the same videos. I mean, wheels and videos. <laughs> Alright. So what you want to do now is you want to grab your precision tool and click weld on it. Oh, by the way, my smart snap options, my grid, my num maximum number of snaps is 64. My minimum distance between, I think, snaps is what it says, is 5. That makes everything more precise. Well, the grid, it makes it more like precise on some of the other uh, props in Gary's Mod. So first you want to do is you want to put it... Oh, wait. Wait, actually, that was not right. You actually want to grab your axis tool. That's what you want to grab. Um, uh, so you want to put it right in the middle and click that. And then you want to go on your your thing. And I'm just going to go two blocks in and snap it down. And it'll turn yellow when you're per perfectly like precise. And you just want to snap that in. And then you should have. See, that's on an axis now. That'll actually rotate. I just want to make, oh, make sure everything's frozen. Alright. So now I'm just going to do that with the rest of these real quick. Alright, so now that we have that, our car should, even though it looks kind of dumb, it should actually roll. Yeah, it'll roll, but I mean, it's not perfect. So next what you want to do is you want to go to entities, I'm mean, not entities, vehicles, chairs. You want to spawn in an, air, an airboat seat. You want to freeze that in midair. You want to snap it so then it'll snap to the vehicle properly. Now is when you want to grab your precision tool with a weld. You can look at all my uh, options. You can... Here, I'll give you a few, like a second to do that. Alright, you can pause the video if uh, needed. Then what you want to do is you want to just take this. You want to get up on, like, your uh, thing. Now you just want to snap it somewhere you feel comfortable. So I'm going to snap it right, actually, in the middle right here. I'm gonna 
Alright. I know that's good. So, uh, just to cause, just to make sure there's no problems caused, I'm gonna no collide actually everything right here. Alright. Alright, and so, after that, we can actually start working on the wire mod part. Um, first what I would actually do is you just want to weld these tires together, just to make them spin together. See? Now, like... Uh, not all of them are spin. Oh wait, I'm walking through this because it's no collided. Actually, you probably want to. Yeah, I probably no un no collide this one. I'm just gonna go to C, right click it, and enable collisions. Now it won't. Yeah, that'll actually probably be better. So um, after that, what you want to do is you want to go into your wire, and you want to go to um. Uh, I believe it's yeah wires slash i slash o pod controller i'd pick this light one it's up to you though um... you want to just snap this on it should turn red once you snap it and what you want to do with this pod controller gun you want to right click the pod controller this red thing then you want to right click your seat and then it'll say linked entity vehicle 188 whatever it'll probably say it might say there's something different but that's what it should say it should say linked And after that you want to go scroll all the way up to the top go to wire dash control go to gates arithmetic gates um... scroll all the way to the bottom where it says subtract gate and what you want to do is you just want to put a subtract gate right next to it well you can put it wherever it's not going to really matter but then you want to go up to a round gate and um... you want to put that right there uh, the round gate is optional, but um, you'll probably want it, as I'll show you later in the video, what it is for. But the only one really needed is the subtract gate. This one is actually not needed, but it's a good thing to have, so I would put it on. So now what you want to do is you want to scroll down, back down to physics, wire-physics thruster. Then you want to get a thruster with about 2,000 is how I usually go, and then force maximum that. All right. And then I usually use this non-textured one that I have, but it's it just looks like these thrusters. But I actually have the textures for them. It just says I don't. So then I put one two blocks in here, and then two blocks in right there. Now what you want to do is you want to boost this up to three thousand, and then you want to put it in the middle. And I'll show you why in a minute. Why it's three thousand. All right. So now that you got that, you, we can start wiring a little bit. So you want to go like that. Pick any wire you want. Doesn't really matter. Then I would actually the the width will probably be like somewhere up here or something. I'll just put it all the way down to zero. Um. So uh, after that, you want to just click input A, and then you want to just click that once. So left click this one once, and then left click the subtract gate. Then you want to left click this one and left click the subtract gate. Now on the subtract gate, you'll see inputs A and B, and you can you'll be able to scroll. You want to wire uh, input A to the pod controller's W. Then you want to scroll down and click left click the B, and then left click the pod controller and uh, wire it to S. This will pretty much uh, give you your front, forward, and backwards motions, as you can see. We can now go forward and backwards, and just to make sure you have your pod uh, pod linked, it will. You actually can sit in it. You can see it turn green there, so um, that's how you know if it's linked or not. And just real quick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what this middle thruster you want to do. Instead of putting this onto the subtract gate, what you want to do is you want to click that and then click the pod controller once, and then you want to uh, wire this to shift. This will actually be a boost which is really nice to have especially if um especially if you just want to kind of uh like go really fast and beat your friends in races if you guys want to race these cars as you can see it goes really fast it's really bumpy right now because i'll have to do some things um for it not to be so i'll, I'll um, do that in a little bit though um so what i'm gonna do is i'm just first fly this back here it's um it's better over here to build for me um so now what we can do is we can actually add brakes. Alright, to add brakes, what you want to do is you want to, it's in wire dash physics, it's called a weld slash constraint latch. I picked that one, but you can pick any three of these. Um, so, um, what you want to do is you want to 
left click the tire once and then you want to double, double left click on your vehicle where you want the latch to be. So that will pretty much freeze the tire and then you just want to do that for all the tires. You can do it for two if you want like just like a front word or like a like a front tire braking only or something whatever. It's kind of it's pretty much custom customable. I mean that goes for almost all things in this. So right now when you unfreeze your car, your it won't move. It it will not move. It might move like if you like hit it or something hard enough, but it will not move. So to fix this, actually, what you want to do is you want to go to your wires uh, advanced, which is in wire dash tools all the way to the bottom. You want to left click to activate on inputs, and then you want to go to your pod controller and uh, go to s and then link it to space. And you want to do that for all of these. You can tell if you've uh, linked it because it'll it will turn red. The activate will turn red, and in case you mess up, you can hit um, R on that, and it will um, go back. To normal so you just want to link all these to space and you can see the wheels are starting to spin now these two back wheels they won't spin until you get both of them unlatched because they're welded together so now as you can see these tires they now and then when I hit space they stop so that's pretty cool um, but now for to put turning on what you want to do is you want to go back up to thrusters and you want to put bump this down to about 1,500 is what I do. And what you want to do is you want to put it in the middle of the front tires, and then what I like to do now is I like to just for safety weld these two thrusters together, um, just so not flying around on the tires. Now, what you can do is you want to go back to the wire, your wire advanced. Then you want to wire these up. So this one will be on the pod. You when you press when you press D, that's which one you're gonna want to activate. So you wanna link this one to D on your on the pod controller and you wanna link this one to A. You see enough? Now that will give you your steering and um right now actually your car is pretty much complete. As you can see, now it does turn. It's really bumpy still, but I'll show you how to fix that right now. Um, then, uh, then after that, I'll show you a cool thing that you can do. All right. So what you want to do now is you want to um, oh, you want to go to your weight tool. This is another mod you can get. Well, it's an add-on you can get. What you want to do is you want to bump this up to about 500 is what I usually do. You want to turn this middle plate 500. You want to make your body heavy and your wheels very light. Not very light, but 80. Not Don't make them one or anything because that messes up everything. Like If you've ever tried to change a Jeep, like just go and try to change a Jeep's weight to one and watch it. Just watch what it does. See, now you can see, actually, it's not as bumpy until it gets up to high, really high speeds. And the stopping distance is quite laggy, actually. I mean, not laggy, but it's, like, quite... It's not that good, but you can't really... It's a Gmod car. You can't really uh, ask for that much from it. So, and if you really want to, like, get fancy with it... Not really fancy, but, like... If you really want to do something with it, you can hold C and it'll like let your mouse free. You can right click it and hit keep upright. This will make sure your car never flips over. Like it 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 doesn't you it will not let you turn it. It makes it stay upright. So I mean, it's going to like it's not going to flip or anything. I mean, as you can see this thing works underwater too. Not like all right. So, I'll show you right now the final thing you can do with this car. Final thing you can do with this car is go to wire and then you want to scroll up a little bit until you find um, wire speedometer and you just want to put a speedometer anywhere on your car. I'm going to put it right on the back of the seat because why not. This will, the, this is, oh wait, I might have just put two, no I didn't. This, is, this, this will be um, where that round gate comes in. So now you want to go to wire um, and then it's called a screen right there. And I use this little untextured one, but you can see, as you can see, it's really small actually. 
So what you want to do is you want to place it on your car. Um, I'll have to find a little. Hold on, let me spawn in an object real quick just to place it on. I'm just gonna use my S props. Y you can a actually, you can actually um make it so your car well s props is a good thing for building cars but if you're playing on a server i don't recommend it because um mo uh, most servers don't have it so you can't um build this on like uh you can't spawn dupe your car and this with the screen on it with um s props so um now but you can use your like general and then your block um that'll work too I'm just using S props because it's easier for me. Now what you want to do, oh, you want to make sure you hold that together. And um, you want to get out your screen, and then you want to put your screen right on there. And actually what you want to do is you want your screen, these are the screen um, things, only one value, MPH, and then, all right. After that, you want to grab your wired advanced again. You want to wire your screen to your speedometer, to your actually to your round gate, and then you want to round your A input from your round gate to your MPH or KPH, depends if you're using metric or um, the metric system or whatever the freaking other thing is. Uh, the I think international system. All right, and after that, you can see it'll tell you your speed. This car will probably get up to around 60, 56. This is a pretty small map, so I can't really say. But uh, yeah, that's a wire mod WASD car tutorial. You can color any of these. What you want to do if you want to like make it disappear, make it, it looks too ugly for you, whatever. Uh, you can go to color. You want to take your opacity all the way to zero, and you can just take all these things, and you won't even be able to see them. I mean, like, even the screen block, I mean, if you don't want to see it, you know, you like that, like all this, you can color, it's not going to affect anything, it's just all, all good, and there you go, and now you just see this. Alright, that's all I have for you today, this has been a tutorial from Bra Black Rye, alright, thanks guys, out.